Do you want to win a new camera with a lens? <laughs> if so, let me tell you how you can do that a bit later in the video. But have you ever wondered if the same focal length looked the same on APS-C as it looks like on a full frame camera? Check it. 35mm lens on APS-C camera like Sony a6000 has a focal length of roughly 50mm due to the 1.5x crop factor. Does that mean if I put a 50mm lens on a full frame camera, the images will be more or less identical? Well, the focal length will be very similar, but how about the aperture? Is f1.8 on APS-C the same f1.8 on full frame? Does it look exactly the same? By the end of the video you'll find out the answer, but instead of me telling yes or no, let me show you that. So, I'm gonna be using the Sony 35mm f1.8 FE, which is a full frame lens, but it doesn't matter if it's a full frame or APS-C lens, and I'll put it on Sony a6000, which is APS-C camera, and we will shoot at identical settings on both cameras. I'll shoot in highest resolution, in raw format, I will not use the autofocus but go with the manual focus instead and the aperture will be the widest which is f1.8, the ISO 100 and let me change the drive mode to 2 second self, self timer to avoid any shake. And I'll focus on top of the lens and we fire away. As a subject for our test I'm using this Viltrox 56mm f1.4 and speaking of Viltrox, they are the ones actually organizing the global photo contest with prizes worth more than $15,000. Yeah, you heard me right, $15,000. And if you want to win a Fuji X-T5 camera, a new Viltrox lens, filters, lights, monitors, SD cards, photo bags, and so many more things, then you should definitely try your luck in this photo competition. Anyone in the world can participate and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, what camera you shoot with or what is your style. They, the only requirement is that you are using the Viltrox lens for the shot. And there is a link down below to read more details about this competition. So good luck. And now let's do the same shot with the Sony 50mm f1.8 FE, which is also a full frame lens. And I'm gonna put it on the full frame camera Sony a7 IV. Identical settings, manual focus mode, drive mode, this is self timer, ISO 100, image quality raw, f-stop at its widest f1.8 and focusing on top of the Viltrox lens and we take the shot. Okay, now let's bring both of these photos in the Lightroom. APS-C is on the left, full frame on the right and right out of the bat you can see that they're actually quite similar. Um, the only difference that I visually see is that from a7 IV the, the, the shot is kind of a little bit lighter and a bit more washed out. But other than that they look the framing and everything looks pretty much the same. Um, I'm not gonna compare too much of a sharpness test because this is not what it's about, uh, obviously because the lenses are different and that wouldn't be too fair to, to compare. Uh, and of course, regarding the bokeh, the, 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 the lens, the build quality or, or how the lens is built, that can differ as well. But it is pretty clear to see that that bokeh balls are very different from each of the shots even though the battery ran out uh, on, on these lights here on this shot because I was taking it later you can still see that they're significantly larger um, than the ones on the left here and if you're wondering why is that so there's this website called crop factor calculator actually I use it quite a lot so basically what you do here is you select which kind of APS-C camera you have. I have from Sony, so I'm choosing this one. And since we were using the 35 millimeter lens, you can clearly see that the focal length on the on the full frame equivalent will be the 53.6. So I didn't have to do any calculations. I just had to put it in here. But very interesting here, if I put f 1.8, which is what the lens gives on the full frame, that's almost 2.8. So basically that's why the difference is so noticeable because the shot here with APS-C is not really an f1.8, it's more like 2.8 even though the lens says so. So is this the result you expected? Let me know down in the comments while I'm off to making another video for you guys. So stay tuned, go in a new camera and the lens and don't forget to keep on creating. Ata.